Is interval weight loss the best way to lose fat and live longer? If this was an account of someone's weight loss experience, it would be pretty unremarkable. It may even suggest a lack of commitment. Or the wrong diet choice to some people. But what if this slow and halting approach? known as interval weight loss, is actually the best way to lose fat and live longer? That's what Australian obesity expert Nick Fuller. Is arguing in his new book, Interval Weight Loss. Obesity expert Dr. Nick Fuller. Picture, John Appleyard Source News Corp Australia. The book's month on, month off approach to weight. Loss was researched and tested by Fuller Rand. His colleagues at the Bowdoin Institute in Sydney over several years. We've been wired to believe that dieting is the next. Best thing, the magic bullet, but it's actually doing the opposite, Fuller argues. Losing a lot of weight quickly puts the body under. Such stress that it will fight against what you're doing to go back to normal, he says. You've got to go slow if you want to outsmart your body. New research is showing how well this approach works. An Australian study of 51 men compared continuous weight loss with interval weight loss. Not only did interval dieters lose more by the end of the period. But in a six-month follow-up, they'd lost on average 8 kilograms more than continuous dieters. WHYU fight to stay fat. Obesity threatens to shorten the lifespan of billions of. People around the world.
It increases the risk of cardiovascular disease. Type 2 Diabetes and Many Types of Cancer With two-thirds of Australian adults, and one in four kids. Either overweight or obese. It's one of the most detrimental health issues of the future. The Royal Australian College of General Practitioners recently announced. Healthy eating is key to losing weight. Source supplied. One of the reasons obesity is so prevalent is that. It's incredibly difficult to maintain weight loss. For the majority of people who attempt to lose. Weight through lifestyle measures, within 5. Years that weight has mostly or completely returned. This is a frustrating statistic, particularly when it's also. been shown that losing, and keeping off, a mere 5 kilograms. Will have a significant improvement on your blood. Pressure and other health markers, and, as a result, your lifespan. So why does weight regain happen? A lack of willpower or discipline is often blamed. But it's actually because your body is used to being the weight it usually is. Fuller calls in a set point. As a result of rapid dieting. Bodies instinctively adjust their metabolism and appetite. Hormones in order to bounce back to this set point. And it's something he's seen time and time again. During the decade he's been researching this area. Whenever you lose weight or put the body under stress. For example, severe calorie restriction.
your body's metabolism will lower, because your body. Is fighting to get back to where it started, Fuller says. Interval weight loss may be the key to losing more weight. Source supplied. Dieting also increases appetite hormones. Telling you to eat more, but in a cruel twist these often remain. Elevated even when weight regain has happened. Explaining why some people end up weighing more than before they began dieting. There's been such a great stress on the body, it doesn't properly recover. But here's the good news, by losing no more than 2 kilograms. In a month through eating habits and exercise. Your metabolism and levels of appetite hormones. Will be preserved as much as possible. Fuller says. And by then having a rest month. Where the eating and exercise rules are slightly relaxed so your weight stays the same. You are in effect getting your body used to its new set point. You repeat the pattern until you've achieved your weight goal. Which a professional can help you to set. From then on, every month is maintenance month. While interval weight loss is sensible and realistic. The maintenance month is initially challenging, warns Fuller. If you see weight continue to come off during the maintenance month, you have to put it back on, and that's a tough concept. But get your head around it, and you're likely to still keep. The weight off in five years time, which Fuller says is like being. In remission. You can also look forward to a longer, 
healthier life.